Hello, Kenny Evans here. Another car video. And the topic of this video is how to deal with the woman playing games. Before I get into that, I want to let you know this channel is all about helping both men and women be the best they can be in all aspects of their life, whether dating, relationships, health, wealth, mindsets, all that good stuff. So, um, welcome. I want to help you be the best version of yourself. And I appreciate you coming to this video. <clears throat> so, um, I know we got some new people here. Welcome. I know we got some people who've been returned or who have returned. Welcome. For those of you who have not done so, definitely subscribe. Hit the notification button so you'll be notified when I upload, whenever I upload some new videos. And if you also just want to support me, if you like my videos, hit the thumbs up button. Thank you. It really helps the algorithm. So let's get let's get back to the topic at hand. How to deal with a woman who is playing games. So uh, this is obviously a very important topic because a lot of dudes go through this and they don't understand how to get out of it. A lot of guys think it's okay. A lot of guys don't even notice. You know, a lot of guys put up with it when they do. You know, just because they think a girl's bad or look really good. <laughs> they can say that. And they think it's just part of the life that they got to live. You know, they got to chase women. So, I will let you know what my definition is of a woman playing games. That is a woman string you along. Say you got a date. She canceled maybe a day or two. Before the date, says let's do it next week or another time. Again, they come along. She cancels the date again, a day or two, and she constantly does that for you. Or if you guys have interest and you, she's hot and cold with you. All that constantly hot and cold. You know whether you let her know or not that you have an interest. Hot and cold. And that is playing games as well. So um, I'm going to give you four things to do and say when it comes to a woman playing games. And of course, the bonus at the end. So you definitely want to stick to, around for the bonus because that's going to definitely help you uh, stop uh, dealing with women who play games. And it's definitely going to help you get women who don't play games as well. So yeah, let's get into this topic. First and foremost, thing you should always do is let the woman know what you want. It's very important. Let the woman know what you want. So if you are uh, in a friend zone, um, definitely let the woman know what you want. So she has the opportunity to either go along with your plan or not. Uh, first and foremost, and the second thing is back to back goes right to it if a woman after you let them know what you want still continues to play games showing interest and then pull them back showing interest pull them back hot and cold tell them to get back to you when they're ready to meet after you've you know you let them know you want to meet up with them you want to go on a date whatever tell them to get back with you when they are ready to meet so that way the ball is in their court and you don't have to really be doing too much with them just go focus on other women and do your own thing. And even this, the third thing you should do goes even back to back to back. Jumps on, on that second one's back. And it is all about understanding that you should give them space and let them come to you. Give them space and let them come to you. And of course, if they, are, they were friends with you before, um, you could be friendly and have a little conversation, but don't be the friend because once you let that friend of yours know that you are interested in them romantically it has to stay as a romantic interest you cannot go back to the friend interest or zone because now you defeated everything you just did so if that is something uh, that you really want someone you want that person romantically stay in that romantic in, uh, energy and you could be friendly just don't be a friend there is a very distinct difference. And of course, if there's somebody who you don't, you don't know, um, you could just be friendly. 
and move on. You know what I mean? Or, or don't even. But the key is letting them come to you. Let them come to you. You know what I mean? Let them initiate most of the conversations, especially if you are friends, because you want to see they you want them to see that, hey, how I am as a friend and how I am romantically are two totally different things. So if you want to be um, romantically interested in me, you got to make the effort. So that way, the ball, again, is in their court. And especially if you're not friends, let them come to you. So if you made it this far in the video, I definitely appreciate it. And if you have not already done so, subscribe, hit the notification button so that you're notified for whenever I upload some new videos. <sighs> and yeah, the fourth thing you should do, let the woman know that you don't deal with women who play games. So this is very important because you're not going to know if a woman plays games essentially until you interact with them and you have a fairly lengthy interaction. And with that, you know, you even telling them that it's not a threat, it's not anything trolling or evil, it's a correction. So once you've seen that they play games, you tell them, hey, I don't deal with women who play games. So if they continue, you know, they don't really have a lot of interest or respect for you. So now, you know, you got to bounce. But if they do correct it and they stop doing that, then you know they have interest and respect for you. So then now you can continue to deal with them. And that's pretty much it when it comes to that. It's very simple, very easy. <clears throat> you want to be able to get the women who are continually uh, following your lead and wanting to be around you. So they do what you want them and need them to do in order for them to be around you and correcting themselves um, after you let them know you don't deal with women who play, and get, who play games is crucial. And with that, it also is saying that you have the abundance mindset and you're willing to leave them if necessary. So it's a two birds with one stone kind of thing to the woman subconsciously. You know, and here is the bonus that you've all been waiting for. The thing that's going to let you know that uh, you, know, you don't ever have to deal with women again who play games. And it's going to help you get women who don't play games. It's going to give you the energy and value that you need to attract women of high value who don't play games. And it's going to make sure that you don't deal with women who play games ever again ever again and that is you do not deal with women who play games simple as that don't deal with women who play games again you can correct them if they correct themselves or you can mention it to them if they correct themselves cool if they don't have that quick fix and get out of there. And that's what I'm saying. Having that abundance mindset is crucial. Having that abundance mindset is crucial because you understand you're going to have other women who will be down for you who won't play games, who will look as good, if not better, than the woman you're dealing with right now. You know, so that is important. Don't deal with women who play games. And I hope y'all realize how everything kind of piggybacked off each other. <laughs> And that's by design. So it's easier to remember. It's easier to digest and easier to apply and easier for you to get results. So definitely that's the bonus. Don't deal with women who play games. And of course, um, that is all I got for you today. Uh, let me know what you think about my list. Let me know if you agree with it, you disagree with it. Let me know if you liked it, you disliked it. Let me know, let me know. And of course, if you've found anything um, of value, um, you can donate. Let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. And um, I hope to see you next week. And stay safe. Always remember, the strongest man is the happiest man.